Today I'd like to talk about stereo imaging and soundstage. Uh, one of the two, two of the characteristics of stereo music that separate audiophiles from the casual listener is imaging and soundstage. Imaging is the ability to, to place uh, instruments in space, in a three-dimensional space, mainly, mainly in front of you for most recordings. Um, but uh, it can actually have sounds coming from the far left and the far right and even behind you. And this we'll, we'll get into here in a minute. Uh, this is something that if you haven't heard it, you need to really, really listen for it. And hopefully this presentation will give you some pointers on how to listen for imaging so that you can really understand what it is and get an appreciation for soundstage. Uh, those of you that are set up um, surround sound systems with many, many speakers, speakers on the side, speakers in the back, this is what stereo can do with a properly set up stereo with good speakers and a proper setup with good listening position. You can get that same effect and you don't have to have all the speakers. Uh, and this presentation is going to talk about that and show you how to get that. For the rest of this presentation, we're going to use this chart. Um, it's a busy, busy chart. But don't worry, we're going to spend a fair amount of time on this, and hopefully by the end of this you'll understand all aspects of it. If you've ever gone to a, a concert, and I don't mean a, a, an electrified concert with a PA system, as much as I mean a, a, an acoustic concert that's not mic'd, or uh, an orchestra, or something that has instruments on the left and instruments on the right, when you sit there and hear this live performance, you're going to hear that. You're going to hear that certain instruments are on the left, certain instruments on the right, certain instruments on the center, certain instruments are right of center, some are left of center. And this is what stereo can reproduce if you have a properly set up stereo system. Now, what is a properly set up stereo system? That is two speakers in a listening position that is in a, in a triangle. The position of the listener has to be centered between the speakers and some distance forward. Now, you have a little bit of flexibility with where you can place your listening position. Um, a good rule of thumb is to start with an equilateral triangle. But you can move back a little bit and you can move forward a little bit. And depending on how good your speakers are, you can move up real close to being parallel and still get this stereo effect. So um, where this comes into play with most music, because not everybody listens to orchestras every day, where this comes into, 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 into play is that the mixers in the mixing room will mix instruments so that they're either center left or right, far left or right, or left of center and right of center. Often what you'll find is in the center, you're going to have like the primary vocals, the bass, and the drums. That's pretty common. Now, here, here's a test for you. If you stand in one of these listening positions and you don't hear you know, music in the center, like the vocals in the center or the drums, your speakers are not set up properly. Maybe they're maybe they're wired incorrectly, uh, because when any pair of speakers is set up correctly, you're going to hear a very strong center image of some part of the music. Again, you know, com it's very common to have the primary vocals be in the center. You'll also hear instruments and sometimes vocals on the left, and also on the right. Uh, this is, it's very common to have backup vocals on the left and right. While your primary vocals are in the center, any backup vocals will be split both left and right, and you'll get this effect like the sound is coming around you when the backup vocals come into play versus just in front of you with the primary vocals. Now, what I mean when, when I say in front of you, I mean you, you should be able to feel like you can reach out and touch the performer. That's how they mix music, You're right in front of you, literally right in front of you. So what is soundstage? Soundstage is 
the collection of all of these images as they wrap around in front of you and also in back of you, although there's very few uh, songs that are mixed with music in the back. Um, if you take this and add all this stuff up and you hear all the different sounds, you know, guitars on the right, guitars on the left, vocals in the center, that whole thing is what we call soundstage. And it sounds just like the, you know, it's just like the term, the, the stage. That's what it represents. Now, most, most recordings are mixed so that they have a center image and a left and a right image. They're pretty simple. Some recordings only have a center image. Um, uh, some recordings have a left and a left center and a right center image. And they're a little more subtle. One of the things you have to do as a listener is, is start to train your ear to hear these things. When, when, <clears throat> when our brain processes sounds, it tries to equate a logical source to those sounds. And what you'll get is you'll, you'll get the ability to hear the left quite easily because you know the sound is coming from a speaker. You'll hear the right quite easily because you know that's coming from the speaker too. The center should present itself so strongly that your brain overcomes the fact that the speakers are there and, and gathers up this center image and you should be able to hear it. It's a little more subtle to hear left center and right center for those songs that are mixed that way. But the same effect. You have to train your ear a little bit. You got to sit there and listen. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and listen where the sound is coming from, whether it's coming from the center, coming from the left, coming from the right. So what about stereo recordings that are uh, mixed with rear imaging? Uh, they're, they're far and few between. There, there are some, uh, not a lot. If, if you want to experience rear imaging with stereo, the best way to do it is to use movies. Um, Anything that is uh, uh, has has you know something coming from the rear to the to the front like an airplane or a helicopter uh, that will show up and you'll you'll get a sense of it. Now again, you're probably going to have to you know train your ear a little bit because your your brain isn't used to hearing things in the back when your speakers are in front. But you can focus and you can hear these things. Uh, if you use any of the, the demos of the various uh, surround sound codecs like Atmos and uh, Dolby, uh, uh, I forget what the, what the other name of it is, but Atmos is a great example. Put, a, put a, an Atmos codec demo on and you'll be able to hear all the surround sound that you would with a seven channel setup but you can do it just with stereo. And that's the beauty of stereo. One of the, I, I abandoned my multiple channel surround sound years ago because I found that a properly set up stereo system, good speakers, properly positioned, good listening position for the user, you get that effect with only two channels. And you don't need to, you don't go through the headache of tuning all those other surround, surround sound channels. Uh, anybody that has done this will will appreciate what I'm talking about right now. You can get that same effect with two channels uh, at all alone. So let's do a quick review. Um, imaging is the ability for a stereo set of speakers to place instruments in space around the front of the listener. Good stereo setup good recordings should give you the, the, the presence of a live performance if that's how the recording was mixed or if the recording was done with a single microphone in front of say an orchestra or to the right or to the left so you should get all that um, with just stereo soundstage is the collection of those images both in front of you, to the side of you, and behind you for those for those recordings that are mixed that way. Um, 
you're going to have to train your ears, like I mentioned. This is something that you have to work on a little bit. You're, you're, you're going to, you shouldn't have to work on hearing the center. That's pretty, that's pretty pronounced. But you'll have to listen for recordings that have left center and right center mixed instruments. That's a little, little tougher. Not much, though. Once you start listening for them, you'll hear them. And then uh, for far left and far right, that's also a little bit more subtle. You'll have to, you'll have to uh, train your ears for that. And also there are not so many recordings that, that mix to the far left or far right. Um, in the description, I'll list some of my favorite test tracks so that you can try and you can see what uh, imaging and soundstage work with your system. Uh, with these test tracks and leave any comments uh, that you have uh, regarding the what you hear and any questions as well so thank you this is the vintage speaker audio file please if you have found value with this hit subscribe and hit like if possible thanks